Hello, welcome to the Eye Health Apple Present Retinoscopy Simulator Tutorial. Today we are discussing about how to increase the retinoscopy skills and sharpen your retinoscopy practice through using the internet by using the online simulator for the straight retinoscopy. Here we are demonstrating about how to use strict retinoscopy and how to practice the retinoscopy in online. We all know that in strict retinoscopy we have two systems. One is projecting system and another one is observation system. I would like to recommend you first briefly gain the theoretical knowledge regarding the retinoscopy and then practice it online. Let's begin. At first, go to the Google. You can type to google.com and then search for the retinoscopy simulator. Okay, simulator. Here you'll see the retinoscopy simulator by the American Academy of Ophthalmology. One is from the idog.co.uk. Another one is practice retinoscopy online by the Eye Health Nepal. Here you can go in the Eye Health Nepal here. This page will be loaded for you. Okay, this type of this type of the screen you will see this belongs to the from the American Academy of Ophthalmology. You can directly go to the American Academy of Ophthalmology webpage also. But here is the link. You can click on here, launch retinoscope simulator. You have to click here, another page will be loaded like this. Yes, this is a retinoscope simulator by the American Academy of Ophthalmology. Let's just click on the start. Okay, if you click on the start, you will see this type of screen where you can first get the information. Here is the showing the passing. Here is the passing section. Another one, you will see your working distance section here in the below. Yeah. Another one is the retinoscopy strip. Yeah, with two for the moment. Another one is the trial trial lens. Trial lenses. Yeah, this is in cylindrical power and the axis and the straight angle like this. You can skip if you know or if you want to know more information, you can stepwise you can follow the procedure. Here, this is an eye, this is a simulator eye, this is a retinoscopy reflex. You can move like this. This is now in the neutral state because I we don't have fixed it here anything. Remember that you have to fix the working distance you hear. Working distance means the distance between the examiner and the patient. Normally, many of the refraction practitioners use 50 centimeter distance, which is equal equals to the two or two diopter of the power, and some some follow the 66 centimeter, which for the 1.5. Here I am fixing working distance is two. Two diopter means 50 centimeter here, a half meter. We use the retinoscopy to instantly identification the refractive view, that is the myopia, hypometropia, or the astigmatism. From the retinoscopy, we can state the refractive state powers of the patients. Yeah, here I said that my working distance is two. And this is the metropic person. Here is the person details. Uh, the spherical power, cylindrical power, the cylindrical angle. Here is zero. That means the planar power is in. in, in, in first, learn from this. Just put your working distance and see how the normal eyes look like. Let's see the reflex. Yeah, always see the reflex. Remember that when you do refractions, if the reflex the inside this this one is the retinous called straight reflex, and this one is reflex from the retina here. Yeah? Unless you see the retinoscopy reflex, if that is dim and slow, it means you are far away from the neutralizing point. And if the retinoscopy reflex is bright and fast, moving fast, I will, I will demonstrate you later, that means it's close to neutralizing point. Yeah. So always remember that movement, always movement, and the streak 
it's moving fast or slow and it's a light dim or bright reflex here here in the case of the image to be where person have no power you will see if you're in your working distance if you do it in the scope you will see the with movement with movement you can you can bend in 180 like this you also see the with movement you can also in 45 you can change here if you want to see in more any axis like this okay so uh, if we increase we utilize your ascent which is immetropic who have the plan of power you need your working distance lenses to add on the trial frame that means i'm going to slightly increasing you can see if i increase 0 0.5 the reflex became smaller and moving faster and became brighter yeah i'm going at one let's see fast small smaller with movement with movement means you have to add more plus okay i'm adding more plus yeah more faster more bright and smaller yeah. near to the utilization yeah smaller fast and the bright reflex Till we get the neutralization in with movement we have to add more plus part that means we added plus let's see it's between the neutral yeah neutral neutral no movement we will fill with light yeah like this like this if i add more positive power what will it happen oh it goes against yeah against if there is the against movement you have to decrease your plus power yeah or go to the negative power like this this is your neutralizing point here the final result will be plus two in your trial nice and your working distance is plus two we have deducted and the power person power is zero if suppose this power have this person have i am going to reset it my working distance i'll fix it too and if you see in the percent with plus one okay this vertical power you can add here plus one what will be see with movement let's increase up to two yeah again with increase more again with increase again with it's neutral yeah always go one step ahead from the neutral to confirm it if you see the against then it's your neutral point yeah, like this you see Yes. If you see, let's go to. I am going. This one is zero. And I'm going to. Okay, minus one percent. Okay, in the case of the minus, if your the minus power is less than your working distance, means if your minus power, like the minus power is less than your working distance, means if. Uh, up to minus two diopter at first you will see the with movement with movement so you will add a plus power in such cases so some of the practitioner directly use plus two lenses as in our, our as the working distances so what will happen it goes against the rule so you have to decrease your power from to one so okay if you have minus three like this more than a working distance negative power you will see the reflex like this against the movement at the first if you see the against the movement you need negative power minus power to neutralize it okay neutralize it it's still against it's still against plus neutral like this in the case of the spherical power here yeah? and go to the cylindrical power like minus 1.5 at 90 degree angle okay what will happen minus 1.5 at in the working distance is 2 yeah with movement is smaller with movement at 90 degree angle yeah now if you go to 180 it's broadening first we neutral to this one with increase with increase neutral so go to the 90 axis against against 
that this is an integral power still against still against still against still against neutral like this you can see look from this side also you can look from this angle also to make sure it's a neutral so at the final you have to detect your working distance from your spherical power that is the plus two my working distance is two this became the zero and then my final prescription power is minus 1.5 at a 90 degree angle always remember to do the subject to verifications for while prescribing to the patient so you can practice it like you can bend it angle and see at the observation system and try to enhance your knowledge regarding the retinoscopy this is the second part. First, you have to learn the theoretical knowledge and note it down the proper steps to do the refraction and how to observe the methods. I'm giving this link in the description below so you can directly get the link of the simulator. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe our channel.